my channel. This is Creative Events Platform. I welcome you to my channel. Today I'm doing a tutorial on how to tie brighter gaily. And the sample of what I am doing is the picture you are seeing up there. So I'm starting with how to create the pleat and the material I'm using is a sego material, not a shocking. So I'm starting with the pleat. So for me to create the plea, I'll, I sit down and then place it on my lap and then begin to fold carefully. So as I take this process, I will be able to protect the, the plea well, but this is not the only method of folding your pleat, but it's the most comfortable one. So you can also stand and fold your pleat, but this is what I do. So for me to move it to my client's head, but I'm moving to my dummy's head now. For me to move to my client's head, I just fold it on my lap the way you see now, and then hold it like this. So with this, you can even keep it for days. You, you just use a clip to hold the part I'm holding with my hand. You can keep it for days before you transfer it to your client's head. So I'm only trying to tell you that it's very secure when you fold it and keep like that. So right now I am transferring it on my dummy's head and then I base my dummy's head with a suede material because without that suede material on it, it will be too slippery for me to tie the gele on. So in order for me to be able to, in order for the tie to find a good base to rest, I use the uh, suede material. So it's not, if it's a client, you are tying on uh, directly, you do not need to base anybody's head. The head of the client is perfect. You don't need to put any material on it. So right now, while I transfer the, the base, I will make sure I tie it same. Well, tying is not at all time. You can cross it and ask your client to hold it. But since I'm tying on a dummy's head and the dummy cannot hold the tie for me, I'm just going to like tie the back. So after which I will start to arrange the pleat. That's the steps. I'll try to like push it uh, backwards a little so that the steps will show. So that's what I'm doing. I need to see the steps. So I'm pushing it backwards a little. All right. So uh, the arrangement will also need you to, you will need to arrange both the sides because the back, can go far as far as possible, but the two sides should not be too far. Should not, you shouldn't push the pleat far at the side. In short, I'm supposed to close up the pleat at the that the two sides right by the ear. You are supposed to close up the pleat there. All right. So after the arrangement of the pleat, it will be time for me to spread out the gele and then tie it on the top. That is transfer the gele to the top now or start the process of tying on the gele. So for me to do that, I will start by opening up the back. That is, I will spread out the uh, tie. I will just spread it out. After spreading it out, I will create a pleat using my hands like a gather. So I will start to gather it and gather it to an extent because I need to get the fan part that will be flowing. So when I gather it to an extent, looking at the height I want. So if you don't want it, you don't want the fan to be too high. You don't need to leave too much material by the side. But if you want the fan to be high, then there will be need for you to uh, leave a lot of materials behind just ranging between 10 inches between 7 inches to 10 inches long you understand so where i gathered already is what i am now pleating you know i gathered it before so i will now use my hand to guide it and pleat it so as i begin to arrange it on my client's head i'll make sure it is flat and also following the lines with which i gathered it before so I have to ensure it's flat because at this point, if you do not flatten it, 
that is where the gele will start having a problem or challenges so try as much as possible to arrange the pleat or the gather and make sure it is flat one method i always uh, advise my uh, my trainees to use is that they should ensure that the arrangement is lying on a particular uh, foundation because there need to be a size for this pleat you are using and that size will be the size you began with so when you start the pleat the first size under is the size you should continue with every other uh, folding should be resting on that one and with exact uh, measurement as well so if your pleat becomes too big or bigger than the first size you use the 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 fan will not come out well it will start to fall off and if your pleat becomes too small the same thing will happen so you try as much as possible to maintain the size you started with and then before the fan can ever come out there must be a slant that's what you have seen the slant there you must be able to slant it cost a slant because it is from that slant that you will now start to get this unequal uh, flow of the gele. If you don't get a slant, the unequal flow will not come out. And of course, your fan will not come out. So the, the bigger or higher you want your, your fan to stand, the quicker you slant the air tie. So the bigger or higher you want your fan to stand the quicker you slant the tie. If you do not slant it in time, the gele will be small, the fan will be small. And if it's for a bride, of course, you do not need a very small fan to do that. You don't need a small fan. All right. So this is the method I use in tying this full fan gele that I'm showing you now. The difference between this full fan gele and the regular ones you see is that. I made a flow by the side, and that's the reason I'm making this video. There is a flow by the side that helps me cover every part and cause it to go completely round because it's a brighter gele. Yes, so you can see how I am folding. I will bring it very close to you so that you see how you move because as you fold the fan, you are expected to shift. That is, you must move forward. In order for you to continue, you must move. So when you want to move, you don't just move. You move by moving your pleat. You move your pleat. So when you want to move your pleat, you, 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 you protect the one that you have pleated already, and then you go under. That's what I want to show you now. You go under and begin to uh, gather or pick that your you you that is like a way of transferring your the pleat you have been using from the beginning. You still have to ensure that it is flat. You still have to ensure it is resting on each other, and you have to ensure that the movement continues. As each pleat will fall on it, the movement should continue. So this is how I move, and that's what I have showed you now. This very process of moving is kind of are stressful for beginners you feel the pains you feel the stress in your hands your muscles you understand but the the more you do it you become used to it and you no longer feel those pains it's really stressful when you are doing that transfer and that movement i will i will not lie to you but then you just have to like get used to it especially if this is the business you're interested in you must get used to it all right so this is just how it goes this is how it goes and this is how we continue and continue to the end as you watch this video carefully to the end you will see all that you need to see and also understand that and i also know that you will be able to understand all you need to understand as you watch carefully so if today is your first time stopping by creative ends 
platform this channel please do not forget to subscribe before leaving because you have a lot of benefits opportunities that i have given my number is always on my video if this video do not have it other videos do have it and you can send me your personal request uh, if it's something that is very easy for me to go through with i will do it for you i know most of my subscribers can testify to the fact that most of the requests they've made i have answered them and i've made videos on them so i also expect you to become part of this team become part of this family become part of me <laughs> all right so if you are yet to subscribe do subscribe before leaving and also please do recommend the channel to others and i will see you in my next video just watch this one carefully it's very very good for beginners it's going to help you thank you bye
Thank you.